And for the free video today, uh, looking at, uh, well, I carry on looking at this one, just done a full review on the premium video. But we're holding th these lows here, and um, so we've had a big move to the left here. Uh, we've had another wave down here. We start to break above these highs. I think this one could burst this resistance and go. But of course, the threat is we uh, break the lows down here tomorrow and shoot down. Euro. It's not selling. Uh, again, we're under a wedge here, but uh, so we haven't we haven't had a gap fill yet. One thirty eighty is the gap fill. Now, no telling when the gap's going to fill. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week. It could be next month. Whatever. But the fact the euro US is not selling is a good sign. So um, if you get the news on the on the telly and uh, just just look at the charts. So keep a very very close eye on what this one does tomorrow. Watch for the highs of the pound yen. Uh, very little data tomorrow, so I would tread very very carefully. You can see on the 60-minute chart of this pound yen. Um, had a decent you know gap down on Sunday. A decent move yesterday. Sideways in the Asian session drop in the euro session quite a significant drop in the euro, euro session and and then we just sort of gradually wound our way up but we I, I, I did trade it from the lows but I didn't keep it because I didn't like the way uh, it didn't break it didn't hold these highs and close higher close above this 129.12 alright that's what to look out for and uh, happy trading <laughs>